Here's a quick tip on recording and modifying automation in Studio One version 2. Now you can easily write automation by putting a track into one of the automation modes, like write, and then as the song plays, simply move the fader or other parameters like mute or pan. So let's take a look at this example. Now that I've written some automation, I'll click this little status button, or automation mode, and I'll set it to read. I'll rewind to the top and listen to what I've done. You see this fader moving just as I manually moved it, and you can hear the changes in volume. I can also see what happened graphically by viewing the volume automation lane for this bass track. If I click my volume fader on my bass track where I previously wrote, I can then click and drag to view my automation. Now this song starts right at the beginning. And what I'd really like to do is create a fade in. Doing this manually can be a little bit sloppy and timing can be also tricky when you're trying to do it on the fly. So rather than trying to manually write automation in real time, let's do it graphically. I'm going to undo this write automation. And now I'm going to go to the Paint tool here. Now I could do this freehand, and it'd work. But it's a little jumpy, so there's even an easier way to do this. Let's go to Line, and what I could do is just draw in a slow fade for this track. You could also use some of the other tools here. For example, I could make a parabolic fade. And that to me is a nice, smooth fade. Since the hi-hat starts along with the bass, I could do the same thing on my hi-hat track. And since my overheads are picking up hi-hat as well, and there's a crash there, I'll do the same thing on that track. It makes it really easy for smooth, controlled volume changes, not only at the beginning of a song, but anywhere in the song. Thanks for watching.